hi guys this is a soulmate read so if you've been clicked on the if you've clicked on the video or you're drawn to the video then um, hopefully there's a message in it for you it is a general though so it will not resonate with everybody but it's to see if you're not in contact with the soulmate what are they up to what is their next move here so these are the akashic tarot deck i'll put all the information of the cards i'm using um, in the description box along with my email address and how you can contact me or how you can support me so without further ado let's get on six of scrolls here the sands of time i feel like you feel like either time's running out here um because the time has fallen all the way through so you could feel like time is running out but time is just an illusion really i'll read from the box for you and explain the reading as we go so it says the sun has begun to set low and on the western horizon but it's still visible through the window of a beautiful castle room a man is focused with concern on a large hourglass that has almost run out he rolls up his sleeves, ready to get back to work. This card shows that in some matter of importance, time is of essence. There could be an opportunity that you don't want to miss. It may be a project, situation or a personal connection that requires action or even completion. You might have had some delays or you may be highly active for some time. Either way, keep going. Your focus and effort are still required in order to get to the end game. Don't let worry steer you away from your goal. There is more yet to do, so don't give up. Yeah, so I feel like the soulmate is starting to feel the pressure to come forward now because, you know, um, this is a situation that either needs fixing or needs um, completing here. So your soulmate is now feeling um, like the pressure from the divine here to come forward. So let's see. Two of keys, the treasure. So let's read that from the book as well. It, look, they, they feel like they're looking for something here. I prefer to le read intuitively. And it does feel like, um, you know, they are searching for something here. They feel like something is lost. So they're searching for this treasure in this card here. It's, the room's a mess. They've looked everywhere. Everything is pulled out here. You can see the moon there in the background as well, as, as well as the sun setting here. So I feel like, you know, they feel like that urgency within them to find what they're looking for. So they're feeling that pull towards you here. The two of keys. Let's have a look in the book. Just because some prefer the book as well. So, yeah, let's. Two of keys. There it is. And it says, a man looks dejectedly at a smashed treasure chest in a room that obviously has been robbed. Behind him, a stream of light shines from the lid of an unbroken chest on a small table. The only piece of the furniture in the room that hasn't been touched. This card represents a great loss or disappointment in your life right now. It could be the loss of a job, a loss of a relationship or even an opportunity but remember that this phase is temporarily it might take some time and effort to rally your forces to recover but there is a great treasure within you that always that's always available the little chest represents the part of you that is fulfilled with light it isn't vulnerable and it can never be lost or damaged when you focus on what's wrong or what's lacking, it, it perpetuates your sense of emptiness and victimization. 
So don't let yourself get lost in your loss. Open your lid of light and let it illuminate your way. There are opportunities, great, greater, wealthier, all waiting for you to discover. So yeah, they're feeling now the sense of loss, that something's missing and that time's running out. That's the sort of pull you'll get when you feel like, you know, um, you know, I need to reach out and contact somebody here. Um, Spirit would remind them that, you know, all is not lost when we have that light within us and, um, you know, that can never be empty. So don't focus on um, what's lost. Just you know, take action here. So that's what I feel like they're being guided to do, to take action from their spirit guide. So let's get one more of these. The six of forces, the waterfall. They could be crying a lot, like floodgates have just opened. So they could be feeling like overwhelmed with emotion here. Um, they could feel like that this water is, you know, like cleansing them as well under the waterfall. Um, but again, we'll read it. I feel like it's, you know, um, what I'm feeling from the card is they they feel like they're being pushed over the edge here. And um, like fear is sort of holding them back. They'd be scared to fall. But, you know, once they have fallen the waters are quite smooth here. So it leads on to a better place here. So we'll read it from the book for those who want me to read it. But it just generally feels like, you know, they're scared of what they're feeling. They're scared to jump. It's like the full card, they seem like they need to jump, but they're quite scared. They're letting fear holding them back. And it says, a towering waterfall rolls down into a beautiful body of water. In the upright position, this card mean this card reminds you of your incredible personal power and support, supports you in opening up to the force within. Know that you are a dynamo in the universe. You have the ability to shape any situation in a way that honours you and moves your life forward. The element of water is fluid like the waterfall. Your personal energy never stops. Your life force is never ending. It's spirit from your eternal past and roars into your limitless future, extending into a furthest reaching of the universe. It, it is a time of deep thought and even deeper emotions, as well as an expansion of psychic energy. Use this time act on these and tap into your power that's ever flowing so like i said they're being reminded you know that now's the time and they may be receiving psychic messages um i feel like people just it would more describe it as a gut instinct so they're feeling like you know this gut instinct that something's missing from their life and they feel like time's running out that's the sense that their angels and guides are impressing on them to make a move, to take action there. So let's get some of the romance angels to see, you know, um, what they feel towards you. Oops. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so what they feel to... Okay. What they feel towards you here is... Um, they want to reconcile so they're feeling this urgency here to reconcile they're feeling like time's running out um they need to make a move but they don't really know how to they're scared to it doesn't really mean that you have to go ahead and um you know make the move for them this is why their feeling is being um put on them They've got to realise here, it is safe to love. They've got to open their heart to give and receive, okay? So what's missing here, you know, love, true love here. True love is missing. But you've got to be open to it. You've got to not allow this fear to, you know, 
scare you away. And we have, this could be the one. So, you know, this is what they're feeling about you here. Um, that you could be the one and they're scared. They lost, you know, they've lost you. They've lost something here. Um, you know, time's running out. But Spirit wants to remind them, you know, your power within is like limitless here. And it's always fluid. It's always going. The only thing that holds us back is ourself. Um, so they're now coming to the understanding. I've What I was looking for, I've already met what I seek. I, I've already met the romantic partner I seek here. So they was looking for something that they knew within already. And now here you find they want to give the relationship a chance here. They want to work on their partnership. I just feel like they just do not know how, okay? And let me repeat, it is not for you to go forward and take action, especially with somebody so skittish. Yeah, I was just gonna say like a wild horse and I looked here and it's a horse and it's like they can be, you know, scared of how big of a connection this is here okay so let's use these cards here and find out more about the situation i am doing this um 14th of july as well Okay, the lovers. So this is a very divine connection here with the lovers. Um, this is the mythical tarot deck. Like I say, I will put all the information um, in the description box here. But it's a very divine connection, but you're being asked here, you know, to remember about self-respect, remember about that you know that divine power within you and you are just as important as this connection you know um individually you are just as important as this connection together you are you know absolutely wonderful when you're together in that lot but as well this card wants to remind us that um to love ourselves as well as each other here but i do feel um in light of the reading here, um, it's like this will be a very divine connection. It will have caused you, because um, it says reconciliation, it's obviously somebody you already know here um, who wants to get back with you. Um, there's, I feel like they're scared to love, but they're feeling the loss of it. They're missing, they feel like they're missing you here or they're missing something. Um, and when they're searching for something, they've already you know, met the person they seek here. So I see um, healing in this lover's card, being able to heal the connection, knowing that, you know, this love is great here. So let's have a look. Let's get some more cards out there. I feel like definitely you both should remember you have your own individual guides here. So their guide is, you know, helping and guiding them and your guide is helping and guiding you. So remember that they're fine, they're safe, they're being guided, they have their journey to follow as well. They have, you know, their steps to grow. Same as you here. But it is a, definitely here a very divine connection. Wow, look at that two major arcana straight away this is something that's destined to be like you're destined to be together with this person just look just keep following the right path here and it'll lead you um you know to what you desire you know they're following the steps maybe you don't even like the step or the path that they're taking or took to get to this point but it's not for you to like um your soulmate's path You've got to, you know, understand that you are individuals as well. 
as these great lovers here. You're individuals. You have your um, own path to follow here, I feel. But don't worry because, you know, um, what you wish for, what's destined for you will never pass you by. The way we get through these things a lot easier than um, worrying about tower moments and things like that is understanding that what's meant for us will never pass us by. And even if something happens, something great will come from it. Um, you know, you'll be so much happier than ever before while you're going through separation, things like that. Um, you're quite worried that, you know, or oh, will they come back and things like that. Um, you're not to focus on the worry. You're not to focus on the when, where, how. The divine will take care of all of that. You're supposed to focus on your own individual paths here. But it is something here that's meant to be with this star card and this lovers. So they're on their own path right now. Um, they are heading towards you because she's focused on the star here. So it's like they're finally getting on their path here on the right path the page of pentacles yeah they're finally learning this is something new beginning it's like learning to listen to your own instincts here even um because i feel all your guides here i feel like finally listening to what's within you so this is like um learning to trust and to follow yourself here your higher self your guides your instinct that gut feeling um so that's what they're doing they've now got on board now started following their path here okay so they're learning at this time they have much to learn um with the page of pentacles i feel like they finally learned who is the one okay And like I said, it's okay to watch these readings, but, you know, trying to hurry them on their path um, just puts more delays in your way. You know, focus on your path and your healing. And that's what they're doing, focusing on their healing. Oops. I guess that one wanted to come out as well. The Four of Wands, it was. Okay. The one I turned over was the Ace of Swords. And this is like the Ace of Swords finally cutting through the clouds up here to allow, you know, this light to shine in. And this butterfly flies up into the light and, you know, is illuminated here. So again, I feel like, you know, it's finally making progress, cutting through and getting clarity. Maybe when your mind's cloudy or, you know, your judgment's off, it's finally here being able to cut through, um, you know, or having a breakthrough even here yeah so it, yeah it's like having a breakthrough and it's on the give your relationship a chance card there so i do feel like it's um gaining that clarity with the ace of swords being honest with themselves here um and they may even want to communicate about giving the relationship a chance as that's where it will fall um for you you're not supposed to, if you feel, you know, um, watch my video about how to get your ex back or, um, you know, something like that because um, you, if they're not ready, because look, they're still at a page so that if they come in too soon, you'll sort of repeat the same cycle. So you've got to be honest and fair with yourself and clear, honest with yourself and honest with each other. Like maybe, yeah, we want to work this out. Are we ready to come together yet? Are you are you done healing or learning? You know, so you've got to be honest with yourself and each other. So it could be um, a conversation that, you know, starts to give this relationship a chance. Some sort of sign even with the butterfly there that, you know, they want to give this relationship a chance. Maybe for some it could be even something like they had you blocked and then they unblocked you something like that but here um we have the four of wands as well that came out with it so 
um, it's definitely going to be good news it's going to be a sign that lifts your spirits maybe it's a sign for them that realizes it's not too late you know it's not too late here that you still could build this foundation and be happy together they'll feel like um, very lucky which will like kick start their raising their vibrations them feeling joy and realizing you know we still have a chance at this we still you know we can give this relationship a chance i feel like that clarity that honesty brings them joy Can be done about the reconciliation they're learning it's safe to love and not to be scared you know maybe because they've treated people badly so what can be done about the reconciliation i asked and it's the page of wands so again about um communication okay so you know they they want to take action now to communicate this page seems very happy very joyous like excited i'm ready you know it could be after this ace of swords information that um you know oh my god there still is a chance oh my god you know like them realizing this happiness and this excitement um i feel like it gives them you know that push to he even could look like the fool here you know take a chance and reach out and communicate here um the fact that it's still in page energies um it's not ready this communication is not ready so you can start the communication but I would be very careful about quickly trying to lead it on to next stages um, but that's just me you know you don't have to follow my advice here um, but this person is going to be very creative in how they come forward to you they might even send you something funny I'll send you a funny video and be like hey look at this and some you know tried to make you laugh, tried to make you giggle here. Um, I do feel like that's how they're going to try maybe even something quite childish to charm you back, like something funny um, to try and get to the point where to get the conversation flowing here. Who doesn't like to laugh? I mean, always remember humour. You know, they might joke about themselves here as well because it's on the it is safe for you to love card so they might try and tell you something very serious like i was actually scared of how much i felt you know and make a joke of it here with the page of wands but i feel like you should you know what they're saying in jest remember there's always truth in jest so there's always some tr truth in jest there. So, yeah, I feel like they may try joking like, oh, well, you know, I was scared and things like that. But they're being serious that they was actually scared. And the Ace of Wands is letting me know they've had a breakthrough and they are serious and they are telling the truth. The Hermit, yeah. Because, you know, sometimes, it well, nearly all the time it takes us spending that time on our own to figure this out. They're soul searching. Remember when you were soul searching, looking for answers and then realizing the answers were, were in? You know, our soulmates often bring up and mirror us. So what we're going through will bring up um, things that are unresolved within us. You know, so then we have to look for the answers and look for the healing. Just remember that that's what they're doing. So there's a reason um, they thought it wasn't safe to love, okay? This is what they had to go on their path and work out here, find the answers to here. So even if, let's say, even if they left you, um, they were scared that, you know, oh, I feel this deep connection with the lovers here and what if they leave me, you know? And then they realize along their journey, what an idiot, it's the same thing. I left in fear that I was gonna be left. I still end up losing. So it's like, you know, um, this 
six of scrolls going off in their head like, oh my God, I'm running out of time to fix this. Okay. So with the hermit, just, they could have even realized that they was the energy vampire here. They was the one taking, because this hermit is a vampire. Um, so it could be that they realized they was the energy vampire and they was taking and taking and taking. But whatever it is, they've done this soul searching um, within here. And this, you know, so they could still be going through this. Maybe that's why the energy is still like a page. They're still not ready. Only you can be honest with yourself when they come forward with this communication to know if they're ready or not. To are you going to have that divine faith there? The page of cups as well here. So they're sorry. You know, they're sorry, but not but. I I said but because I feel like it's still not matured enough yet okay so realizing that you know you're the one um and wanting to come forward and actually taking action to come forward here because they're wands and they're cups and so there is everything here there's this willingness and wanting longing for okay i want to get back there but it still seems immature energy to me okay so if you let them immediately give this a chance without them really having the chance to learn that, you know, they could have lost you forever. You know, it might stay in this childish energy if you take them back too quickly because you miss them too much as well here. Um, but, yeah, you know, they want forgiveness. I feel like their their apology would be sincere on the Ace of Cups here. Uh, sorry, on the Ace of Swords. The Page of Cups on the Ace of Swords. I feel like it would be sincere and you accepting their apology would make them very happy. I'm just not overly impressed that it's still a page. Anybody, but like I said, they're just getting on their path. So it's good that they get on their path there. They want to start something new and create something new here. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. So they need to get to this. Um, they want something more traditional now. When they reconcile, they'll want something more traditional, okay? Um, so they could communicate that with you. I want something stable. I want something traditional. I even it could be even a family for some here. Um, but again, I really, really want to stress this as I'm doing it. You know, when all the planets are going crazy in retrograde, don't rush because if they are in this still just you know beginning of healing energy. Um, it could send you back into the same cycle where you end up in the same loop and you end up breaking up again or something like that. Um, the idea is not to burn your bridges, you know, um, but just to trust here. Trust. Trust that the divine will not let what's meant for you pass you by and that they deserve time to heal time to grow into a king queen emperor empress here so i feel like they'll communicate maybe everything you'll want to hear within this ten of pentacles so that's why i'm worried that this may tempt you a little bit too much during this time um because like for you it's like a test like would you accept them in this lower vibration and most of us do because um we're loving and sympathetic and we're like okay i'll help him through this time help him her through this time so yeah i want to be able to be with them and help them but sometimes you've got to help yourself and it's harder to look at people we love and want them to help themselves i mean me as a mother, when I would um, 
like I'd be like, oh, I'll do it for my kids. And then now when they're growing up and they're like, hey, make me a sandwich. I'm like, what? Make your own sandwich. And it's because I didn't allow them that freedom, let's say, to... I was just thinking I'm being loving, I'm being caring. And I was thinking that's what you're supposed to do when you love somebody. You're supposed to, you know, um, love them and care for them and provide for them. It's healthy for people to learn on their own, to do things on their own. I'm just making an example about myself so not to offend anyone else the eight of cups like i say if they're not ready you have to make a choice to walk away and i feel like this what they say and offer and what they actually truly mean but they're not ready for i'm scared you can't leave this behind with this eight of cups here some of you will be strong enough to walk away from this offer that because they're just not ready yet you know i feel like you will be able to see their faults shine through um you know like you'll get this gut feeling like they're saying everything i want to hear but they still haven't changed they, there's no difference um i feel like you you'll feel it within your soul okay and some of us may choose to ignore it, and others won't, okay? So when we leave with the Eight of Cups, don't worry, we'll come back around, okay? We always return with the Eight of Cups here because it's that search for something more. So it's quite possible they left you because you wanted something traditional and now they're coming back saying everything you want to hear. You could have had a very stable, strong family with them that they left behind here. You know, you could have had children. All these pages could be children that, you know, they walked away from this very stable family here. Because they felt like they was missing out. They felt like they was missing out on fun here. But, you know, they had this breakthrough that it wasn't so fun. Um, they needed this time on their own to see the grass is not greener over here. Okay. It's not more fun over there. The tower. Like I said, they're realizing it's not so fun over there. Okay. So they now decide to change their life here. Okay. Okay with the tower so let me grab some more cards here and see what they are changing now you know from this fun over here where they felt like you know maybe it was a third party that they left here um you know they they left you for a third party maybe let's see what's going on over here if they had a third party <laughs> so if they have a third party they're now questioning um like they're now trying to fight their gut instinct this is like um in a conflict could be arguments within this relationship as well so if they did leave for a third party, there's arguments. And now they, because they're feeling this inner conflict, this pull, this what's missing. I'm running out of time. What am I doing over here? The King of Swords reversed. Okay, so they're now cutting off the third party. They're now going completely cold in this connection and they want to disconnect. The King of Swords there came out reverse. That's why I couldn't see what it was. So because of this inner conflict, without realising here, they could have become quite cold towards a third party. So now it ends up being um, this tower moment here. It ends up ending, walking away here. Okay, so arguing, going cold with the third party. The 
the Knight of Cups also reversed. Let me check my deck here. I was holding it upside down, but everything happens for a reason. Let me see. Because the first card came out the right way up. So, yeah, they no longer want to offer anything to this third party. Um, they could have even cut it off already here. Look at that, I turned the deck the right way around and it fell out upside down again. Okay, so it's the Queen of Cups. So, this is like arguments, crazy emotions like flowing, like I said within that um, Six of Forces there. I don't feel they can get control of their emotions so they've cut it off and they, they didn't know what it was. You know, um, this little bit of love that was offered by the Knight of Cups here um, has run out. The offer's no longer there. They want to cut this off. They could have already cut it off. So. Let's see. Let's see the lovers here. Let's see the card for lovers here. For lovers and reconciliation. Five of Cups. So they're sad about this. Um, they're sad about what went on here. They're now, like I said, that Queen of Cups reverse has been over emotional. I felt that in the Six of Forces that their emotions are starting to get the better of them. It's like they're starting to feel like the loss of this connection. Um, but we know with the Five of Cups, there's still always two cups standing. So they still feel the connection. Okay, the Devil card. So they still feel tied to you. This is somebody um, that, you know, you can't let go of. Okay, so they could be have to deal with codependency as well. Okay, within that rela relationship, um, the lover's relationship. Because... Um, you know, you may feel like, oh, I was only happy because I was with you, but you've got to realize that you need to be happy individually and whole individually, or it just ends up being a toxic relationship, jealousy and, um, you know, possessiveness and things like that, getting the better of you, worry. Um, so that's why you've got to be fully healed and whole. Um, so I feel like the, t the tie is still very strong. They're quite upset. They could be even quite angry um, why, you know, they still feel so tied to you and so connected towards you here. What are they going to do about it? It came out reversed again. What the hell is going on? Okay, six of pentacles here. Um... They're no longer giving to two people, okay? Six of Pentacles is about somebody dividing their energy. So um, with this, um, on the lover's card here, it's like, you know, they broke off one connection to go with another connection and they're quite sad and regretful here. If you look at the card the right way up, because these cards are a little bit hard to see. So they're quite regretful about what went on in this situation. Um, quite upset about it here with the five of cups so don't let them come back for comfort okay but they regret how things happened that desire with the devil card you know got the better of them and they got led away that fear got the better of them um, they regret this now they regret this now and they've cut off, um, I feel like they've cut off the third party connection here. Let's have a look. What the hell is going on? The strength reversed. So they, we know when, when we have the devil there, the strength, um, will appear afterwards so after they've got rid of you know um you know toxic ways sort of desires that they can't control and things that are negative 
then they will have the strength to tame this inner beast here. Right now, I don't feel like they do have the strength to tame that inner beast. And that's why I feel like um, they have regrets, sure. They're sad about this, sure. They miss you, yes. But do they have the strength to come into this relationship yet? No. I feel what they would do then is drain your energy because, you know, you'd be like this, consoling them. And what would happen is they would regain their strength. The devil card would still be here and desire would lead them away again. Okay, so let me just sort out these cards right in front of everybody's face because I find the upright way. Chariot. I don't like um, my cards reversed. I have no idea why they would be reversed. I always sort them out. but everything with reason, but I just want to show you that we'll straighten them all around just so that, you know, any more cards come out, they are not, you know, if they're reversed still, everything with its reason, like I said. Okay, sorry about that. It's a good job YouTube has that 10 second skip, isn't it? <laughs> so let's see on the reconciliation card. Why do they, you know, be careful of the retrograde, guys. I know I say it, but I can't say it enough because I don't want you guys, it's like you need the nine of wands. You need to be in protection mode during retrogrades. I don't even buy electrical goods you know, during the retrograde. Eight of Wands. So, you know, communication will come in um, about reconciling because it was the page also. So they want to talk to you, okay? You're going to have a, a conversation about getting back together here. Um, I feel like you've overcome a lot of challenges, but the challenges will be less now. So um, the Four of Pentacles, um, it needs to be very stable to begin this. So they need stability within themselves. You need stability within yourself. I feel like maybe you might ask, well, are you coming back now because you're bored or what? You may want answers that they're not ready to give yet. So this is why, you know, it can push the relationship off in the wrong direction because it's like they're just awakening page of wands again so yeah they want to talk about this but they want to talk to you about this reconciliation let me get the ask your angels like answers from your angels reconsider like, like I was saying like if you are in the mindset of I'm gonna take them I'm gonna take them I'm gonna take them reconsider here it doesn't mean that you don't have this divine love connection it means like be sure or you will go through the same lesson again Be sure, I mean, like I said, I have videos on um, my ex returned and blah, 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 blah. So yes, 
with a capital exclamation mark, yes, it's okay to reject people who you want to be with if the conditions are not right for you. But will this happen? Will they want to reconcile? The answer here is yes. I don't want to keep going on and on and trying to convince you. I, you need to be on your own path as we all do here. Good luck, guys.